You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, bold fans. So Hope Logan's fashion line is doing badly. And I want to talk about why it's struggling, who is really to blame, and who is the one and only person that can save it at this point. And it is not the COO. It is not. Hey, please click subscribe if you're not following. And now let's dive in. So the first thing I want to touch on is why Hope's line is failing. The bottom line is the buyers do not seem to want the designs. And that's what Steffi just confirmed to Ridge when one of their very loyal repeat buyers said no to the upcoming new collection. So it seems like a design fail. Is that Hope's fault? Well, do you know your history about the line? So looking back, Hope for the Future was actually born out of this little contest for an ad campaign. When Katie Logan was an inexperienced and probably ill-placed CEO of Forrester Creations, Hope came up with the Hope for the Future concept, and Steffi had a different concept. I don't remember what it was. And Katie chose Hope's option really just to tick off Steffi because Steffi and Bill had been tangling. Steffi was trying to hook up with Bill and Katie was very salty about it. So it started with an ad concept and turned into a concept for a whole line. But Katie really didn't know what she was doing as a CEO. Not yet. She got her feet under her eventually. And her niece, Hope, had zero experience as a designer, and she is not a designer that I've really ever seen on Bold and Beautiful. And that launched back in like 2010. So the line was canceled in like late 2014, early 2015, when Kim Matula left from the role as Hope. And then when they recast with Annika Noel, they revived Hope for the Future in 2018. And at one point, if you don't recall, and this was back in 2010, uh, Steffi and Pam played this huge prank at what I think was maybe the very first show for HFTF. First, they blanked out Hope's teleprompter where her speech was. This was in the Kim Matula days. And that was bad enough because Hope was just like, uh, 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 and she didn't know what to say. And she was already so nervous. And then Steffi had messed with the lights behind her on the stage. Initially, there were lights that said Hope Logan, and they blacked out two of the letters. So it said Ho Logan. I mean, (laughs) it's not funny, but it's funny. Steffi has been literally gunning for this line for 14 years. It is important to know the history. But at the same time, when it has been profitable as CEO, she has bit her tongue and let Hope enjoy her success. As to who's to blame for why the line is failing now. So remember that video tribute that Liam made for Hope the other day? The video said, and I'm quoting, Hope is more than just a designer. She's a visionary. Um, hmm, nope. Nope, she has never been the designer for that line. She is not a designer. She is the name of the line and is supposed to be the inspiration behind the line. Thomas always called her his muse, but notice you never see her sketching. I don't think Hope knows how, to be fair, and I'm not like dissing her. Steffi doesn't know how either. That's not their roles at the company. And in the past, if you don't recall, lead designers for HFTF were Thorne Forrester back in the Windsor Harmon days, Carolyn Spencer back when Lindsay Godfrey was on the show, Thomas Forrester, Eric Forrester, and now Zenday and RJ Forrester. Simply put, when you ask why the line is failing, it's because the de- designs are not appealing enough to the target audience and the buyers for the retail stores. And if you recall, even when Eric stepped in and worked with RJ, it wasn't good enough. So if you ask whose fault it is now, 
It's the people doing the sketching or the woman who's supposed to inspire them, which would be Hope and Zende and RJ. But going a little deeper than that, Hope for the Future struggled years ago after Ridge fired Thomas because of his CPS call faking Brooke's voice. If you want to talk about bringing personal grudges into work, Ridge fired Thomas with Brooke cheering it on. That was bringing personal issues into work and it absolutely hurt the line. Thomas was the reason for that line's success. And with him gone, they had replaced him with Zende and Eric and they couldn't make it work. That's why they ended up rehiring Thomas. And I do think if you ask why the line is failing now, it is because Thomas isn't there and you can blame that on a combination of Hope and Steffi. First, let's talk about Hope. She was... I feel, although he was willing, I think she was using Thomas to make herself feel better. And I think to some extent she was toying with his emotions. If she loved him, she would have told him long before that very last day. So that was problematic. Instead, she never told him she loved him and she put the ring on that chain around her neck. And Hope let Thomas think that she might say yes to his proposal. So that set the stage for Thomas to get his feelings really hurt. And then it happened and Steffi was able to leverage Thomas's hurt feelings to get him to leave town. And yes, I know you might want to disagree, but yeah, Steffi did push him out of town literally the very same day that Hope said no to his proposal. Steffi told him, go take Douglas, get a fresh start in Paris and didn't relent until he packed his bags. I believe it was the same day that Hope said no. Thomas was crushed. He took Douglas. He left. That was Steffi pushing for it. Hope's been mad about it ever since. So It's losing Thomas, who, love him or hate him, is a brilliant designer. That is why the line is failing right now. And he is the only person that could bring it back to life. Unless B&B Casting goes across the hall and asks Y&R if they can have Courtney Hope back so they can bring Sally Spectra back over to Forrester Creations to design for Hope for the Future. Otherwise, they need Thomas. But I really worry that they have quietly fired Matt Atkinson because we've not seen him in forever. However, you know, trying to be fair and balanced in my reporting, he and his wife have a baby due any day. So maybe he asked for time off or maybe Brad Bell fired him, wrote Thomas out and never told anybody. He's done it before more than once. So in the end, this thing that Carter is pulling, trying to press and press and press until Steffi agrees to throw more money at Hope's line, it doesn't make sense because the line isn't failing for lack of money. The line is failing for designs that people don't want. The whole House of Forrester concept, that's interesting. It might be workable, but that doesn't necessarily have anything to do with Hope's line. Hope for the future, to me, seems dead in the water unless they get Thomas back or they find an equally talented outside designer because the team that Hope's working with now is just not cutting it, and that's facts. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 